What is up guys and welcome back. So today we are going to make a quick review on the product named the Mossy and this is going to be fairly quick because in like 15 minutes I have to ride my bike cross country for about 100 kilometers to Denmark. So I just wanted to do this topic before leaving because it's been in the back of my mind for several days and I just wanted to get it out for now. So. What happened was that several weeks ago I saw a topic on Reddit regarding hair loss on Trustless where someone were talking about this fantastic cure for hair loss and it wasn't you weren't needing any prescription or anything like that and I joined the discussion and we came up with this brand named The Mossy London. So I decided to give the website a go and take a look at it. And unfortunately, they had some good ingredients listed, but I couldn't actually see specifically what was in their product. So I contacted the customer support and I was set up with a good package for 300 US dollars containing some vitamins, namely the biotin and a hair loss shampoo and a hair loss conditioner, some serum and their pro anti hair loss miracle cure, whatever it is. So to sum it up short, I did never use the vitamins because when the vitamins finally came, well, I noted that the biotin were at 10,000% of the recommended daily dosage. Now, if you don't know about biotin, biotin does work by producing healthy hair, healthy nails, healthy skins, but biotin is also what's called B7 and too much B7, well, leads to thinning hair, bad nails, bad skin, so on. So uh, too little is bad, but too much is also bad. And I probably assume correctly when I say that you know 10,000%, that's just ridiculous to take. So I never took it. I decided to just toss those vitamins out instantly. Never used them. The quality also seemed pretty shady, so I didn't want to take it. And the next thing were their hair loss shampoo. I used it, fairly great. I liked it very much, but the conditioner I never used because, well, I'm a man and I, I really don't use conditioners. I forget it all the time, so I never got to use it, to be honest. But the shampoo was super great, super nice. But for 50 US dollars, that is a pretty pricey tag for just a shampoo because it doesn't actually do anything to stop hair loss. It's just free of parabens and sulfate and stuff that is bad for your hair. But it doesn't contain anything that is good for your hair, not even caffeine or anything like that. This brings me to their next product. I actually brought it with me here. It is their Collagenic Scalp Serum DHT Blocker. Now, what this is, is for some reason I have to apply this twice a day considering all the other stuff I have to do. So it was pretty hard for me to actually follow the schedule. And it does actually contain something like castor oil, which is a PG, PG2 blocker, which has shown some benefits in hair loss. But apart from containing the castor oil, mainly what it contains is stuff like keratin, which is stupid because keratin is what your hair is made of. But when you apply it to the outer layer of the hair and it doesn't digest it, it doesn't really help a lot. I know some girls use keratin for, I think it's some kind of softening protocols of their hair, but it doesn't help growing hair. It can just make it even softer if you apply it. But most of you guys don't even have enough hair to be worried about if it's soft enough, you want more hair and screw how soft it is at this point. Besides that, it contains collagen. And we already know about collagen. Most of you guys know it's a, the big brand name or whatever poster boy thing for shampoos and stuff. But collagen doesn't do anything in a serum for the hair. There is no evidence that collagen in topical serums or shampoos or anything is going to help stopping hair loss progression. So besides that, there is a very big ingredient list in this stuff. I'm going to post it up here somewhere so we can just follow it but none of these ingredients is gonna help blocking DHT more or less, anything like that. It's mostly leaf oils and camel flour and stuff like that, which has almost zero to none effect on your hair loss. So all these other things aside that I had some problems with, 
This is what I really bought the product for. This is the Mossy Anti Hair Loss Serum Protocol, whatever it's called. And on the back of it, it says that it prevents hair loss, it's gonna help regaining new hairs, and it's gonna, I'm, I'm gonna quote them, put off regular aging of cells, increase vitality at a cellular level. Now, and this is what causes the increase of hair density. And I have no idea what this actually means because it is just a lot of fancy words put together. It doesn't actually mean anything in this regard. Besides that, it is going to prevent hair loss uh, by containing procapil and biotin, caffeine, arginine, yada, yada, so on. And by this, it is going to hold hair loss. And we already know from some of my previous videos that Procapil does help preventing hair loss by blocking DHC. Now, what really began to worry me a bit is I'm going to post a picture of what I can see up here so you can follow. But at the ingredients list, I don't see Procapil anywhere on this stuff, which worries me a lot. Like, um, Yep, I just checked it again, like, like I, I can't find Procapil anywhere. Which is okay, it might be a flaw, it might be something like that. Now, the next thing is, on the back of this it also says that you have to apply this by 2 milliliters every second day and massage it through the scalp. This means that it is just apparent meant to be applied to the top of the head, yada yada. And when we take a look at the inside of this, note that I have been using some of the stuff, so it might miss a few things. The most interesting part is that it comes in these vials, like just the same as steroids or any medical treatment does, which seems fancy until you pop the lid off them. Like first off the lid, it usually tears off the top of so I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it doesn't seem very well made when you pop it off and it is going to tear half of it with it on the way. The next thing is it has a membrane like medicine does and it seems really fancy and high tech. The next thing I just thought about is when I received this package, I received two boxes of this. So this thing is containing as you can see in here, I, I saved this just for you guys. Okay, I had a little trouble getting it out, of course. So this contains one syringe and one pump. So if anyone in here has taken any kind of medicine before, they know that you use the pump once, toss it, but the syringe you use to draw with, it is going to be done from that point on, and you're gonna have to use a new one. They provided me one syringe for the whole thing. Second thing is why even have a needle for this? You don't, this is just unnecessary and dangerous. Like they could just have a screw top or anything on this. This just seems like they want to appear like something they aren't. They aren't a medicinal company and this isn't medicine and you don't need a syringe because it is topical. It is not meant to go inside anywhere. So why even provide this crazy stuff some people might get hurt with this. So the thing is, at some point, I decided to contact them and just say, hey guys, I don't seem to regain all this crazy hair density that you are claiming. What's up? And they sent me this email back where they claim that for some reason, I have to use a derma roller for this process and I actually have to apply the topical solution directly after I have derma rolled my scalp every second day. Now, if you don't know guys, that is not a topical solution. That is also, that is, that is something called mesotherapy. Mesotherapy is something very new where you apply something like this product to your scalp after doing derma rolling. Like when they have used minoxidil and IU58841, it has shown increased in effect when doing that. But there's also a huge increase in the risk factor, which is why I don't want you guys to do this. It seems stupid. And we already see that the product seems a little shady and the ingredient list doesn't match up with 
what the packaging says and I just became a little worried about applying this to an open wound in my head since I actually am not sure what's in this product anymore. But I reached out to them and they told me like I have to do this and explain the yada 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 even though it's not the same as the back of the packaging explains. So the package explains that they are procapil. It doesn't contain that in the ingredients list. The instructions on the package is not what the customer supports tell me to do. What customer supports actually tell me to do is what I consider dangerous and stupid. So at this point, like I didn't want to use the product anymore. I had a lot of worries going on and just overall the product seems fairly shady trying to look like a medicinal brand while not being and stuff just doesn't match up. And when there isn't even any kind of pro in this stuff, like there's caffeine in it, there's biotin and yeah, it has some effect, but this is not what I bought and I'm fairly disappointed in the product overall. There's a lot of red flags going on here. I wouldn't continue to use this. I might continue, like I might continue to use their collagenic scalp serum DHT blocker just because of all these good extracts that are in there. It is good for my hair, but it is not going to prevent hair loss. So guys, if you consider to buy this stuff, if you've seen it on Reddit, like these are just my honest opinions on the matter. And I hope this helps clarify like why I think some of these products is just a big sham. Like it's, this is just fucking snake oil guys. To be honest, this is snake oil. I don't know what's in it anymore. They, there's not the stuff in it that they claim there's in there. And it certainly doesn't do what they claim that it is going to do. So. This is just an old school snake oil sales rep just trying to rip more for my money and they were actually very successful in doing that since I paid $300 for mostly garbage that I could have bought in my supermarket. Guys, I don't have anything else to say. If you tried this product yourself, if you know about the brand or brands like this, share your thoughts below, like, comment, like, subscribe, you know the whole drill. Until next time guys, cheers.